guys, hey, so today is an emotional kind of day, so I'm going to try really hard not to, and it's hot in my car, so it's also very, very warm in here. I just got done with um, my workout, and I'm happy to get my took us home. It's hot. It's real hot, girl. I mean, it's not hot, like, if I have the door open, but the it's hot in the car. Sweating's good for you. It's good for you. Um... So there's some stuff that we need to talk about. I tried to do uh, 85,000 videos yesterday, but I was a potato. I was just like, mm, potato. When I become overwhelmed or stressed out, I become potato because I told you, like, potato is my default potato. Um, went and had my pre-op appointment yesterday, and that one was hard. Um, you know, we talked about several different things, but the, the first and foremost thing is that um, we had to bump up my surgery, and I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, my, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, but you know, you're never really ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're ready, but you're not ready. Um, because it's a surgery and, you know, going under anesthesia is kind of scary and having shit ripped out of your stomach is kind of scary. But, you know, I know that this is what I'm supposed to do. So that's why we're doing it. And I'm okay with that. Um, so you'll see my workout, uh, probably before or after this here. I need to restart to, res I need to respond to people. But yesterday I was not capable. Yesterday I was all, no. And then I get to show you my little nails. Um, I think I got some paint on it from when I was accidentally scraped it against something so them dots though girl you know the birdies and then I remembered that I'm gonna have to rip off both of these um, the this one because you know you have to have the little oxygen piece I realized that after I put those on I was like mother of pearl so I have to I have to yank those off and then that'll be that'll be hard so and it's hot in here. And then people walk by and look at me weird because I'm talking to myself. But whatever. Um, you know, I just, I look at my tattoo a lot and I'm like, yes. You know, every time I really get discouraged and I get scared and I'm just like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I look down and I'm like, yeah, you can. Because you've done so much already. And I was talking with somebody this morning and, well, I was talking with several people this morning and, and, you know, the the people that that aren't afraid to tell me like it is, you know, I really I really fucking appreciate that. Don't get me wrong, I love the doing a good job, Nirvana, but I I really appreciate it when people are like, "Girl, shut the fuck up," like, "What's wrong with you?" You know, I I appreciate that that blunt honesty because you don't get it very often, and I don't give myself near enough credit, and. I'm constantly down on myself and I wish I wasn't. I wish I could be like, I wish I could be as supportive. And that's what, what somebody said to me this morning. They were like, you need to be as supportive as you, for yourself, to yourself as you are to other people. Because I'm, you know, I'm constantly, I love you and you're amazing and you're doing so good and I'm proud of you. And instead, I'm constantly like, you know, you're not good enough. You didn't do well enough. You haven't gotten where you need to go. You haven't done this. You're not, no, this, you're not, you know, and I, I need to be good to myself. I need to be, I need, I need to be nice to myself more often. And I'm not, I'm really not like I'm, I'm very hard on myself. You know, when you spend most of your life hating yourself, it's very hard to continuously, you know, it's very hard to continuously build the person that you used to be up for me. For me, it's like, oh, well, you know, I have moments, I have minutes, I have hours where I'm like, yes, you were, fuck yes, you're so, yes, oh, yes. And then, you know, I have those times where I'm just like, had you never gotten to 500 pounds? Had you never put all that food in your face? Had you not, had you dealt with your problems earlier? Had you, you know, had, had you done, had you done? And, you know, you wouldn't have been in this situation, you know. And I, I need to be nicer to myself because, you know, I was talking to my surgeon yesterday and he's like, there is literally nothing you could, you could do.
there is literally nothing you could do to stop what, what happened to you because your metabolism and your metabolic rate is just, it's terrible. Your genes, you were predisposed into being big anyway, and then you had a lot of trauma, and I have PTSD, and I have depression, and I have anxiety, and I have, you know, all these things that just kind of attribute it. And it's easier to sit on my ass. It's easier to sit and eat. It's easier not to count your calories. It's easier not to go for a walk. It's easier not to go to the gym than it is to just be still. You know, it's easier not to do all those things than it is to actually get up and do. So I chose the easy way out. When people say weight loss surgery is the easy way out, well, that's fucking bullshit because you know what the easy way out? It's me sitting at home eating whatever I want to waiting to die because that's what I was doing. I was waiting and praying that the pain and the anguish and the hurt and everything that was wrong with me would be over soon. I can't tell you how many times I thought tonight will be the night. Tonight will be the night I could feel it. My heart is going to give out on me. I'm going to die just like my brother. You know, I can't tell you how many times I felt chest pain or gas or whatever. And I was like, this is it. This is this is going to be it. You know, they're going to find me dead on the floor. Um, or how many times, you know, I've had to say goodbye to Matthew thinking, you know, I won't, I won't wake up the next morning. You, you don't understand what it's like if you've never given up on yourself before. The anger that I have is hard to get over. It's hard to get over because I see so many people in my situation that, you know, take the easy way out instead of fighting for what they want, instead of trying a little harder, and tr instead of, you know, it's easier just to go to Jack in the Box. It's easier for me to go to, to Bojangles or, you know, McDonald's and get whatever I want on the way home. It's easier than it is to go home and make food. It's easier for me to sit and watch Netflix than it is for me to go to the gym. It's easier for me. I don't want the easy way. I want life to be better for me. I want life to be... more enriched for me that's what I want I want a real life and see that that sun shining down tells me the truth it's speaking the gospel girlfriend I want a real life I want I want a life worth living I want to know when I'm 70 years old or however old I am and I'm on my deathbed, I'm not like, you know, I didn't do a damn thing. I just existed. I want it to be amazing. I want life to be exciting and it's going to be hard and that's okay. It's okay. So, my surgery is on June the 3rd, and I am ready. Um, I'm ready to start the next chapter, whatever that may be. So, we will see how things progress after that. I wanted to say something. Um, you know, I have, I have a big heart. And though things don't always work out, I am, I am constantly thinking of people um, even if the friendship isn't isn't what it used to be and I would appreciate like very 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 greatly if you guys would send up some healing um, prayers and good thoughts and vibes for um, Alicia uh, Contreras because she had surgery I believe yesterday and I'm not exactly sure how she's doing today um, but you know Everybody needs to, to have somebody, you know, think positive things for them and pray. And I'm going to run home. And on my way home, I'm going to stop over and light a candle. Because that's, that's the kind of person I am. That's what I do. That is what I do. So, um, I have a couple other people that, you know, could use some thoughts and some prayers this week, guys. I would really appreciate it if you could lift them up and give them some, at least, even if you aren't religious, just some positive thoughts. 
put that shit out in the universe, it, it makes a difference. You never know. Um, I love your beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces. And I'm sorry this vlog was a little, was a little heady. I hadn't meant it to, but you know, I. Sometimes I just got shit I gotta say. Sometimes I gotta get it out, and when I get it out, I feel better. And right now, I'm starting to feel better. So I'm gonna get my tickets home. I love you guys so hard, so hard. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to who you are because life is so freaking short. Alright, bye.